Queens of Java Harbor, the mailboat Crown Princess Ingrid arrived from across the North Sea, heading to Britain, King Frederick and Queen Ingrid of Denmark. Representing the King, the Duke of Edinburgh went aboard to welcome the royal visitor. <laughs> Greetings over, the King and Queen stepped ashore, the King wearing a scarlet sash over his naval uniform. First greetings were for the mayor of Dover and members of the corporation, whose courage when Dover was in the front line in World War II was warmly recognized. Waiting to take the King and Queen to London was an engine of the famous Merchant Navy Club a streamlined tribute to the head of an ancient seafaring nation. And without delay, the train, decorated with the Danish coat of arms, steamed off on its journey to the capital. Among the party who awaited the royal arrival at Victoria Station were Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret. And now the king and queen moved forward as the train drew slowly into the platform. An historic occasion as King Frederick and his charming queen were affectionately greeted by his majesty the king, who wore the Danish order of the elephant. Further greetings came from our Queen and other members of the royal family. Their Majesties also welcomed the Duke of Edinburgh, who had escorted our guests safely to London. Then members of the Cabinet, including the Prime Minister and the Foreign Secretary, were presented to King Frederick and Queen Ingrid. Next came the heads of the armed services, Lord Fraser for the Navy and Sir William Slim for the Army. Introductions over, the Royal Party left the station and out into the cloudy and bleak May afternoon. Waiting in the station forecourt, a special guard of honor drawn from the Coldstream Guard was inspected by Denmark's King. In Landor, the kings of two democratic nations were seated side by side. Opposite were the Duke of Gloucester and the Duke of Edinburgh, while following in the second carriage, Queen Ingrid, our own queen, and the two princesses. Led by a sovereign's escort of the household cavalry, the procession moved off en route for Buckingham Palace. Round from Victoria Street into Parliament Square, while the bells of Westminster rang out their own special greeting to the visitors from across the North Sea. Into White Hall swept the glittering cavalcade, past the symbol of Britain's glorious dead, many of whom gave their lives to liberate the country of our festival guests. Now the procession moved towards our cameras on the final stage of the journey, up the stately mail. Watching from a palace window were two excited children, Prince Charles and little Princess Anne. The splendid sight of the household cavalry must have brought a surge of admiration from the many visitors now in festive London. memorial to Queen Victoria, whose daughter-in-law, the lovely Queen Alexandra of Denmark, linked together in blood relationship these two ruling monarchs, George and Frederick. And so their majesties brought home their guests for a crowded four days of state occasion, King Frederick's first visit to Britain since 1948. For four days only, Britain and her royal family will play host to the heads of one of her most generous neighbours, May they thoroughly enjoy their stay in Festival London. <laughs>